Hey YouTube, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, make hunting sticks uh, like those that you see uh, whenever you're watching videos of like African safaris and stuff. You notice that they'll carry around the three leg stick, a uh, stick that's got three legs, and then you'll notice that occasionally they'll have one that has four legs. And I really like the one that had the four legs, and I tried to go buy it, except I couldn't find it anywhere to buy. Um, and I did find a few of them that would have worked as well, but they were like 180 or some of them were 80 and some of them were uh, $90, $180. So it's just kind of all the way, all over the place. So uh, this stick that I have uh, is kind of, uh, I, I, this is one that I made today. This, and I tried it out, it works real well. I went to the ranch today with my eight millimeter uh, Mauser and shot a few rounds. At, a, at 150 yards, and uh, for the first time I was able to put uh, uh, bullets in about a six inch circle, which uh, most of the time I can't do. But the reason why I like these sticks is because they offer not only the traditional two sticks with your gun in the middle, they also offer the benefit of a third dimension. <laughs> okay, uh, they offer the benefit of allowing your gun to sit here which is a lot more stable so just to uh, show you guys what I mean here's my Mauser I'm not going to pull it out of the sock but traditionally it's unloaded it's already cleaned I just got through servicing it and putting everything away that's why it's in the sock and I don't want to pull it out so this is kind of the traditional you have two sticks you take your gun up you put the gun on your shoulder and that's pretty much the traditional method of shooting. Here you can adjust the height of the gun based on where you put the sticks. Um, this is all great except for it still can be a little bit more wobbly and so the thing I like is that this, having this second stick come out makes it very very stable. Um, also makes it to where you don't really have to hold the gun you can just kind of uh, let the let the sticks do the work for you um, and it just it makes a very very stable platform and it makes it very easy to keep the gun uh, extremely still like without moving period which is why I prefer this um, and I tried to find a video on how to make a uh, make sticks like this but I could never find a video on YouTube so this is why I'm recording this one is so that I can put one out there so that you guys know how to make it um, I was originally gonna make them out of wood I decided to make them out of plastic these are uh, garden I don't know what you call them I got them at Home Depot uh, they're essentially what you put in your tomato garden or what you want your vines to grow up they have little ridges um, and all that that the vines can attach to. I found that they were very, very lightweight, which was very important because I wanted to originally make it out of wood, but after I got four large wood rods and just kind of felt the weight of it, it probably weighed about three to about three to four pounds for oak. Whereas this, I just weighed it weighs about 0.8 pounds. So it's very, very light, very easy to deploy, very easy to carry around with you, very easy to put in the truck, all that good stuff. So yeah so four sticks okay these are taller than me which is a good idea i'm six foot uh and these are probably about six foot two six foot three something like that i don't know um but they're really handy uh and the reason why you want to get something that's taller than you so that whenever you deploy the sticks uh, so you're at a bad angle let me get back a little bit well okay so whenever you deploy the sticks, you can adjust the height of the sticks by the angle at what you set your sticks at. Okay, so um, a comfortable shooting angle for me, as you can see, the knot is probably at about my nose to mouth level, and uh, a comfortable shooting angle to me is about right here. Lock that right on top. About right here is where I'm comfortable shooting. So. Uh, as you can see, um, if you have the sticks too short, you're going to 
be forced to get down and that's very uncomfortable. This allows me to stand straight up, put my head down on the site. It doesn't hurt my back. It doesn't, you know, doesn't do anything like that. So, <clears throat> paracord and this just a little bit of camouflage paracord. So, uh, very basic, very cheap. These sticks individually cost three dollars a piece. So three, six, nine, twelve bucks is roughly how much I paid for this. Plus the paracord was three dollars, two dollars. I'm sorry, paracord was two dollars. Um, so you're looking at pretty. Unless you want to do some more stuff, you're looking at about ten to twelve bucks, uh, maybe fourteen if you, or eighteen or twenty if you, depending if you want to get a little bit better materials or if you want to get different rods. But this is the basic way of how to build it. Um, let me think. Okay, so you've seen the sticks. This is what I'm going to show you how to make. Um, this is how I use them. You can either use them straight like you would classic sticks, or you could put them out in that very stable position. So, basically, knots here at about eye level, and knots there right down by the foot pegs. Oh, the other thing is that tomato sticker came with these little points which made my life easier so coming over to the table here so these are our four sticks okay I'm using pencils and I'm using my wife's hair things don't tell her yeah I know I'm gonna get in trouble if she sees this um, but this is the basic method. So you get four sticks. You've got two sticks and two sticks. You get two of them, and you tie them at the bottom. And the knot that I did on my sticks, I'll link the video in the description below. Um, I got the idea for that specific knot from another guy who posted how to make just the two sticks on YouTube. Uh, but I wanted the four sticks, so that's really the big difference between his video and mine is that he just makes the two sticks where I'm showing you how to do that extra step, which is a very small step, but essentially just doing that extra step to make two, uh, to make the double stick. So. so you take two sticks, put them together, put your knot at the end. I'll show you how to tie that knot, and I'll also link the video uh, to the other guy who ties the knot in the description. Two more sticks. Take your knot, and of course, if you, you can tie the knot however you want. I mean, if you decide that you found a better way uh, to tie it, tie it that way. Uh, but essentially, you're just taking two, right? What do these look like? These look like the basic ones, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to attach these inside to inside, outside to outside, okay? So you have these right here. We're going to attach these two together in the middle, and then the two outer ones we're going to attach together too. So these two in the middle. You're going to tie your knots, and I'll show you how to do that. Slide them about eye level for you, depending on where you want it. You may want it a little lower, you may want it a little higher. Then you take the two outside knots, the two outsides, right? Let me show you what I mean by two outsides. So if you line the sticks up in a straight like this, if you line the sticks up, this is what the knots look like. Does that look like a letter to you? Looks like the letter M to me, okay? Joint here, joint there, joint there, okay? So you have these two middle, then the two outside sticks. You put these together with another knot, Slide that down to eye level, whatever you'd like. And that's it. Those are your sticks. Okay? Whenever you want to deploy them, the part that goes into the ground, you simply take them and pull them apart. And it'll naturally make that shape. And if you want to pull them apart, you can pull them apart to make the rifle more steady. Let's use this as a rifle. It's a pen. That's your rifle. Okay? If you want to put them together, you can put them together. If you want to move them really far apart, you can move them really far apart so that they're very, very stable. So that the rifle is very, very stable. 
Um, like I said, I took my iron sights, eight millimeter Mauser and shot a six inch group at 150 yards. I haven't been able to do that before, but this to me was better than sitting on a, uh, sitting at a bench. Um, so yeah, that's it. Knots at the bottom where the sharp, this is the part that goes into the ground. And then you have two knots right there. So that's what it looks like. Okay, now for the sake of time, I'm going to show you very briefly, try at least, to how to tie those knots. The knots that I did, feel free to do whatever knot that you'd like. You don't have to do my knot, but this is just uh, me looking around on YouTube and I like the knot that the guy did, so I decided to, uh, to copy him because I really liked it. And uh, his video will be in the description. So. so you take it, you take the loop, you got a loop on one end, you put the stick over, you bring the loop around. And I'm just going to go very quickly so that you get a basic idea. Everybody's probably done that kind of knot before. If you're an outdoorsman or if you're just handy, you've probably done that before where it's just something to grab onto. The only difference is that you... You, uh, you come over a couple of more times through the middle, pull it over, through the middle, and that way you get this look, just like that. Now I'm using black because that's all I have. So once again, go watch that man's video. Uh, I forget what his uh, YouTube tag is, but uh, it makes it very easy. He makes it very easy to see how to do it. So that's the knot. Okay. Now, you take the second knot. You take the second stick. Place it on top. And you take one line. You wrap it around three times. One, two, three. Bring it out. And the second line, wrap it around three times. One. Ugh. One, two, three, bring it out. Now, whenever you move the sticks together, you should get the same look as the one adjacent to it. They should pretty much look the same. The only difference is that you have two open ends here. So what are we going to do with these, right? Well, you're going to come across the top where this original comes across right there okay those are two opens there's where it comes across we're gonna come across the top and we're just gonna tie a square knot okay sorry these are way too long it's my shoelace I'm not cutting it for you guys sorry so left over left string over the right pull it through and then right string over the left Pull it through and that's how you do your basic square knot and this is pretty much how I tied the knot this uh, this knot allows you to open it close it slide it um, slide it up and down according to the position that you want and that's it guys um, of course me I just kind of finished it off by going through, uh, throwing another square knot, going back the other side, throwing another square knot, going back through again, throwing another square knot. Um, so I just kind of tied the hell out of it is pretty much what I did. But those knots allow you to slip these joints that are at eye level. You can slip these joints down, okay? So if you are hunting... If you are hunting uh, in a position where you're going to be uh, either sitting down at a chair or something like that, you can put the knots down lower and have it open up lower. Of course, you're going to have you know, these things sticking out a lot higher, but this allows you to sit down while you hunt and all that kind of stuff. And then whenever you're done, this is the part that's a little difficult is getting these things to go back up. You get the point. Whenever you're done, you can fight with these things to just get them to slip right back up. And I'll do it later. 
you get these things to slip back up. Um, in my experience, it's a lot easier to slip them down than it is to bring them back up. I'm sure if you tie the knots looser that they will just come right back up a lot easier. But, yep, that's how you do it, guys. So that's how you make the uh, shooting sticks that you see in those African safari videos that you so lustfully want, but you can't get because they don't sell them. <laughs> or I, I haven't been able to find them. So uh, anyways, that's it. Appreciate it, guys.